Hello and welcome to News Form. I'm your host, Chris, from the Krillcast. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and check out the latest news on our channel, which was decided by all of you, the swarm of the news. For the latest news form, we gave you five options. Metroid Dread sales, question mark. Why are there still Switch Pro rumors, question mark. Apple developing a hybrid console, Apple TV, question mark. Apple versus Epic, dot, 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 again. And then a big PlayStation remake coming, dot, 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 question mark. Which was the winner. 38% of you wanted to see this. So, that's what we're going to be covering today. From Video Games Chronicle, we have PlayStation will announce a big remake this Christmas, musician claims. Singer-songwriter claims they've recorded a theme for an unannounced exclusive. The reason why a lot of people are pointing towards a PlayStation remake is because um, that's what this person has previously worked on with Sony, and Sony has just recently acquired Bluepoint Studios, which is their uh, definitely their remake studio. Or Blue Point Games, I should say. They did that really awesome Demon Souls remake. And in the past, they did the God of War collection, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection, and Gravity Rush Remastered. So, supposedly they're working on original content, but it's also possible, it's also possible that they are working on a Xeno Gears remake. And it's possible these two things are unrelated. Maybe they're working on a Xenogears remake on Square's side and maybe on Sony's side. They're working on original IP. We don't know. What I can tell you is a Xenogears remake sounds really cool, especially when you consider what it looked like on the PlayStation 1. I mean, this is extremely impressive work for a PlayStation 1 game. It's basically Gundams and RPGs mixed together for a all-out robot battle game and i don't think anybody's going to go against this i think this would be absolutely fantastic especially when you think about the work that blue point games has done and even if you just look at what square's done with the final fantasy 7 remake so there's definitely a possibility here that we could be getting a xeno gears remake all of the final fantasy 7 upgrades so if you guys don't know what xeno gears is Xenogears was actually created by the uh, the lead who created Xenoblade Chronicles for Nintendo. He actually wanted to create something like Final Fantasy, but with the robots and something very deep and and strong storytelling that wasn't like the rest of the Final Fantasy series. That's where Xenogears comes from. And then because of Xenogears, he was inspired to create Xenoblade Chronicles, those three games. You know, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 on the Wii which is also on the 3DS and also on the Switch. And then he made Xenoblade Chronicles X, and then followed that up with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Switch. So, yeah, this could be really interesting. Um, and seeing this in fully fleshed out HD graphics could be really, really something. I wonder if anybody's tried to make that. Let's see, Xenogear. Uh, sorry, Unreal Engine. See if anybody's done it yet. Somebody's remade the intro in 8K graphics, apparently. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to steal their work, but if you want to check it out, go to Upscale and type in Xenogear Intro 8K Remastered because it looks fantastic. And uh, now I really want this. <laughs> so if you guys think this is probably the game that Sony would remake next, uh, comment down below. If you think it's something else, then uh, let us know what you think Sony could be working on in a big way being announced at Christmas. I mean, whatever game this guy's working on, supposedly it's going to be announced at Christmas, at least the name of the game. And... Uh, yeah, that could be something. If you think something else would be remade instead, then let us know that as well. Um, apparently, the only thing that we know for sure is that there was some Irish uh, language in the lyric writing for whatever song this musician was working on. So, there it is. 
Uh, if you guys like the way we cover the news, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video and comment down below. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.